What's up guys, IceMeshiPuzz here, and today I'm going to be showing you the very marginal benefits of overclocking your iGPU. I'm running an i5-8600K at, currently everything is at base clock speed. There, <laughs> I had it overclocked before. Everything is at base clock speed now. I'm running one gigabyte of iGPU memory at 3200 megahertz. I have noticed there's been a severe increase in performance since I moved up to 3200 megahertz from 2666. This has been the greatest performance increase from using my iGPU. So I've decided to overclock it and get even more. It comes with a default clock speed of 1.15 gigahertz and I'm going to test it on this particle system. The iGPU is very bad at rendering particles. I notice when I play Counter-Strike and I look at a smoke cloud, my FPS drops to about 20 FPS. As you can see, we're getting about 22, 23 average. The process is, is uh, set to normal priority. I'm running OBS Studio, so that's probably hampering it a little bit. I normally get about 26 base clock. But when I overclock to 1.3, you will notice a difference. So currently I'm getting 20, 21. It's about there. When I overclock to 1.3, we're up to 26. So performance increase of 4 out of 26 frames. That may be enough to push you over the 60 FPS mark for most games, especially running at 720p. I've noticed this iGPU can run most games from two years ago at 720p, like Payday and CSGO, which is six years old now. Um, so about 26 FPS there. Now we're going to clock it back down and try some 3D to 2D modeling. So I'm going to use this Tessellate Sphere. As you can see, we're getting, hmm, that's too low. I'm going to set it to 1080p, two times anti aliasing As you can see, we're getting 25, 24 FPS, 21. We're not going over 25, basically. So when I overclock it to 1.3, There's a marginal difference, a couple more frames, ooh, about nine, eight more frames, that's pretty good. So about a performance increase of 20 to 30% just from overclocking it uh, a little bit. And this is the stable clock speed, this is the highest I've gotten it. After this, you get the, um, a, what is it? After this, the uh, I get a power limit throttling. And uh, so now we're, I'm going to try it on something much more intensive, this Lakes of Titan. And bump that back down. So bumped down, we're getting 15, 16 FPS. 13. The highest of Saco was 16, and now we're going to bump it up to 1.3. So the highest was 16. Now we're averaging 16. 15. So we've gotten the higher average, 17, 18. So you can see a marginal performance in increase of about 3 to 4 frames, make your games a little bit more playable. As you can see, the iGPU is very bad at rendering particles. I've noticed this in games like CSGO. Um, many games, you, they allow you to turn off the particles, but in competitive games, not really, because you have uh, client-side cheating then. So if you'd like to see me um, benchmark this iGPU more in your favorite games, I plan on doing a video for CSGO and Payday 2. Please go check those out. And Team Fortress 2, all Valve games pretty much. 
uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel up in subscribers to make this more worthwhile because this is truly my passion here, benchmarking. Thank you so much, and I look forward to making more great videos for you guys in the future.